I wanted to do a vlog on how we're doing after Hurricane Helene. A lot of people have asked in comments of my videos and also on Strava. So I want to do a quick update. So this is Monday that I'm filming this. It came through Thursday night and it was terrible. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. When a Cat 4 hurricane comes nearby your home, it's terrible. It, I hate hurricanes, like really hate them. And the bottom line is for us personally here at my property, we're actually fine. Thank God, all of our trees stayed upright. I've heard from people at work that towns nearby had winds of 110 miles an hour. And this is a heavily wooded area. This is not like South Florida. We have lots of trees. I'm just gonna kind of pan my yard here. This whole area of Florida has a ton of trees. And so the, um, the this, t this particular area is okay. There are a lot of trees down. We are still without power. Uh, we lost power Thursday night around 9.45. So we're going on four days now without power or water <laughs> because we're in a well. I don't have a generator and I'm listening to generators all around me. Uh, most of my neighbors have generators. We will have a generator next year. I, this We've been in this house coming on eight years and every year I'm like, yeah, you know, it's without power a few days out of the year. It's not worth the cost. Well, it's worth the cost. <laughs> I'm, I'm on record, it's worth the cost. So we will have a generator next year and it's just man we've been living in the house with no running water and no power for four days now and i'm done i'm going somewhere tonight to spend the night I actually slept outside last night i had that eno hammock that i got a while ago and wanted to review and right when i got it from eno the weather got hot and i was like camping weather's over well it, it was cooler i mean it's september it was 80 degrees last night when I kind of settled in to bed and it was humid as anything but it was still better than in the house that's how bad the house is right now it's I don't want to sound like I'm complaining too much but it's miserable because I don't want to sound like that because when I see what's happened in other areas of Florida and up in North Carolina it's absolutely devastating devastating to see one of my favorite areas of the country which is brevard to be just demolished by flooding i don't even know the extent of damage i have a friend in Asheville, and everybody's without power i mean like and and it's like here we think we're going to get power tomorrow there's a chance we could get it tonight we think it's going to be tomorrow it's not guaranteed so tomorrow's day five but at least there's an end in sight right people up there there's like no end in sight it's crazy i just watched seth's video on you know him going through the storm and to think that like two youtubers mountain bike youtubers that are an eight hour drive apart were both affected by the same storm in catastrophic ways is insane like the the size of this storm i saw on the map on the radar it was sending rain up into like canada when the storm was below florida I've never seen anything like it in my life. So yeah, we're we're good. I have a, I don't know if you can see the debris piles. I've got six large debris piles. It took us about total man hours, 12 hours after the storm to clean up. I'm not done yet. I'm down to the little stuff all over the yard, but I got the big stuff up. But no trees fell, had to cut up a lot of branches. But as far as mountain biking for me, uh, and probably Seth too from watching his video, uh, not in our near future, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be before our trails are open back up. I know we had a Cat 1 come through in August and they were shut down for, I don't know, a couple weeks, but I, it was about three weeks before I got back here. I usually wait until the trail crew gets out there. After the trails have been cleared, I wait about a week or two before I ride because there's still a lot of debris and I just wait for it to kind of get wind blown and, and ridden in, packed down before I get out there because you really can damage your rear derailleur if you get crap in there you know how it is so i just wait a little while so it's probably going to be a month before i get back out on the mountain bike trails now i had planned to go to Asheville or brevard really in three weeks i already got the airbnb reserved really nice airbnb a buddy of mine's going up there and that's not going to happen 
So I have a really, really sweet demo bike uh, that was sent to me by one of my favorite companies. I can't say what it is yet because it's under embargo. It releases at the end of October, so I'm gonna have to change my destination. I'm looking at North Georgia, maybe Chattanooga area to get up there. Uh, I really need to hit some chunk on this bike because it's a longer travel bike. So that, my, my original plans are canceled. So, but you know, big deal, right? I mean, people, I've heard of people that have lost farms. When I say lost farms, I'm talking all of their animals perished and their barns were wiped out by flooding. A buddy of mine at work was telling me about that. He has relatives and friends up in Asheville and whatnot. So, you know, the fact that we don't get to mountain bike for a month or so, it's just one of those pleasures of life that if it's gone for a little while in perspective what, of what other people are going through, really not that big of a deal, even though it does suck. I can't mountain bike right now, but you know, I can gravel ride, right? I can get out, I've got tons of gravel roads around me that I can go ride. And so, you know, is what it is. But again, just wanted to do a little update here on how we're doing. There are parts of Florida that were just devastated and I don't know the extent of it yet. Uh, just talking to a guy at work today, well, he, he was working on our building, doesn't work for us. And he has a house or had a house in Steenhatchee, Florida. Well, I don't know if you've seen the news of Steenhatchee and Cedar Key, but uh, storm surge just wiped it out. I mean, the downtown areas were just demolished. And he said his house is gone. I asked him if he had insurance, he said no. <laughs> so he said it was just too expensive to insure for that reason right you know this this is probably the most catastrophic hurricane that I've ever seen in terms of widespread damage like you know Hurricane Andrew in Miami just demolished demolished towns but it was only in that area <laughs> like I said before this is a storm that an eight-hour drive away has impact, impacted two areas and it's, I'm, it's not just North Carolina, right? I mean, it's like Eastern Tennessee and uh, other parts of Georgia. And I don't, I don't know. So let me know how you all are doing on the East Coast. How are your mountain bike trails? Uh, how were you affected? Do you still have power? <laughs> so yeah, let, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you all are doing after this record storm that I hope I never see in my lifetime again. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.